Welcome to the Soundbridge Music Monthly Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shaped the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music and its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're here today with Ali Chipkin, and she is the Soundbridge Music Featured Member Artist for January 2018. Often compared to the likes of Sarah Bareilles, Joni Mitchell, and Fiona Apple, Ali released her first EP, Honey and Knives, in 2014, and 2016 received the honorable mention at the Telluride Bluegrass Troubadours Contest. Ali has been kind enough to take some time out of her day to talk with us. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, uh, what's in store for you in 2018? Well, um, some really exciting things. So, um, as you mentioned, I released my, you know, my first record a couple years back in 2014, mm -hmm. and I've been um, just kind of developing myself as an artist since that time. And uh, last year, I kickstarted my um, my second project, which is called Cascades. I actually have it, it right here for you. If you want to check it out. So, um, yeah. Beautiful cover. Thank you. Yeah, a friend of mine did the album art and. Um, it's really exciting. It's really eclectic. There's um, some cool like uh, pop vibes in there, Americana, and um, yeah, it just feels like really explorative and fresh to me. So what ideas or topics inspire your music? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I'm really, let's see. I tend to write songs, like I said, from a pretty eclectic angle, um, like genre-wise. Like I'll wake up and be like, I pretty much write in collaboration with like great artists that I love. It's mm -hmm. like I wake up, I hear a Stevie Wonder song, and I'm like, whoa, like what would it be like if I wrote a Stevie Wonder song, you know, like for him, but you mm -hmm. know, coming through in my voice. So like the first song on the record is called Seattle, and mm -hmm. that's really the, the vibe. It's really like percussive and um, a lot of like clicky percussion and poppy and really fun and mm -hmm. um, one more thing that really comes through my mm -hmm. music um, is a theme of like women's empowerment and like being a messy strong bold woman and like it's just something that I want I, I don't see it enough in like young girls and mm -hmm. even in older women like really just like taking up space and like being messy and I don't do it enough myself mm -hmm. so a lot of my songs Reckless, Honey and Knives, it's all about um, embracing like the messier um, parts of yourself as a human and you know not being confined to like the feminine. What do you hope people come away with after listening to your music? Yeah, well, I mean, on that note, yeah. I definitely, especially in those songs like Reckless and Honey and Knives, I hope um, people feel empowered to speak their heart and their mind and, you know, get in touch with, like, their gut and what they truly, authentically mm -hmm. want in this life. So, uh, what inspired you to become a part of Sandbridge music? Hmm, well, I... I mean, I really connect with the mission, just, you know, bringing music into um, any any place, like, mm -hmm. you know, and music as a way to build community. Um, when I started writing music, I was, I didn't really grow up in a musical family, um, and it was kind of a thing that my family was always supportive of, but they were, you know, it was kind of like an isolating thing for me. Like, I would go to my room with my guitar, shut the door, so, you know, everyone else could like focus on what they were doing and watching TV and things like that. And I would shut the door and like just kind of like go internal and like write for myself and spend hours just like turning over my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, and especially moving out to Boulder, because I'm originally from New York, but moving out here mm -hmm. um, with such like a rich songwriter community, I really started to value and appreciate like the beauty of collaboration and like yeah. the music's ability to bring people together in community so um, that's something that I like just this past year starting to like be brave enough to, to dip into and like explore. So uh, if people want to hear more music from you where where do they go to find that? Yeah um, I mean I'm on Spotify so you can you know check out my first record there and Cascades here will be uh, released like I said February 24th mm -hmm. um, along with that show if you want to come check it out, it's it's at Still Cellars, Art House and mm -hmm. Distillery, and uh, and then 
Yeah, also just AllieChipkin.com. Anything else you'd like to tell your fans before you leave them? Um, man, mm -hmm. just thank you for the support and thank you um, to everybody for, um, I don't know, for listening to what I have to say and for sharing in music with me. If you haven't seen Allie perform, you'll have the chance coming up Wednesday, January 24th at the Laughing Goat in Boulder starting at 8 p.m. and also February 24th at Still Sellers. She's putting out a brand new album, so be sure to mark your calendar for that. Thank you for watching and be sure to check back in February for our February Featured Artist of the Month. If you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at www.soundbridgemusic.org.